Hello and welcome back to the Orbiting Brick, and yes, more Cold Space Program content, because I think my hiatus is over now, more on that later. But yeah, this is, yeah, well this is the X-15B, a solution to a problem nobody has ever had, which is uh, the problem being the X-15 being too slow. So, as you can see, this looks incredibly cursed, it's an X-15 on top of a Saturn 1. And now, uh, more on the creation of this uh, cursed object will be discussed later. Right now, launch. I hope you enjoyed those uh, nice uh, cinematic shots at the beginning. But yes, as said before, this is the X-15B, and so this concept originated as the alternative to Mercury Capsule, where a modified X-15 will have been launched on top of uh, three or four Navajo boosters, Navajo referring to a early uh, US ballistic missile that uh, actually competed with the Atlas uh, for the, uh, the competed with the Atlas for the main, uh, the main uh, missile of the United States. Navajo would uh, lose out because it was more expensive and uh, was less effective. But yeah, Virginia X-15B would have used Navajo uh, boosters, and uh, that again failed the Atlas. Uh, however, North American Aviation would continue to pursue the concept, and would uh, develop a alternative uh, variant later on. They would have used the Titan One boosters, which I tried to recreate, but I couldn't make it work. And so the final variant, which I'm actually not, I couldn't find much information about this besides the schematics of it. But yeah, the final variant will have used the Saturn 1. And so yeah, since it's a Saturn 1, once you saw a stage separation there, so this is not the S4B upper stage of the Saturn 5. This is the S4 upper stage of the Saturn 1, using those six RO10 engines. And yeah, I've uh, talked uh, through uh, most of the launch. Overall, fairly standard Saturn 1 flight. Somehow, we didn't have an engine failure, despite I didn't actually check the Kerbalism configs for this. But yeah, and all of this is from Blue Dog Design Bureau. I really like this, the new X 15 they have. And uh, speaking of that, it's now gonna be on its own as the. Uh, well, we just in the upper stage. And so, the original proposal using Navajo will have a. That would have actually only done one orbit as the trajectory would have been slightly suborbital with a periapsis of, I believe, 85 kilometers, and so no the orbit burn would have actually been needed, somewhat similar to uh, the uh, Starship uh, test flights we've seen so far. But uh, with uh, this, since it's a larger rocket, and also I decided to uh, go into a proper orbit, uh, yeah, we're doing a deorbit burn. We only have enough consumables for two hours on orbit. The only purpose of this uh, really was just to ensure that the United States could uh, beat the Soviets to a uh, rude orbit. And so we immediately uh, begin to deorbit, so, again similar to the flight profile of uh, Vostok 1. And now you might say, you're not aiming for a runway right now, what are you doing? Which my reply is, actually a proposal will have had the X-15 be uh, ditched on uh, as after re-entry, and the pilot will have landed under parachute. And so I decided, I initially decided to do something akin to that, and also my structure was in the ocean because, uh, well, we had to uh, first drain the fuel from the X-15, which uh, did not go as planned initially. But yeah, I was going to change the, tra the trajectory anyways. I thought I'd uh, I initially... Uh, I would uh, put my trajectory over so I would be able to adjust it using the fuel draining. And so now our reentry uh, re is uh, plotted to uh, have us land in Mexico, which not ideal. And so well, there's nothing we can really do about that since we already burned our fuel. And so we begin to reenter. And this is where I can talk about the end of my hiatus, where I think. Yeah, I think I should return to normal KSP content. However, my Minecraft series, I actually enjoy doing that still, and kind of want to finish it. I have a compromise. How about, just after like every two KSP videos, I make one Minecraft video 
another two KSV videos, and continue on like that. Does that sound okay to you? Uh, leave your thoughts in the comments down below. So anyways, we are continuing to re-enter, and, and you can see we're passing over Baja, California, and now just the main, uh, the main area of Mexico. And uh, since the uh, vehicle is aerodynamic, our trajectory will change slightly, which means we now actually go slightly into the, uh, off the uh, Gulf Coast of Texas. But uh, by doing this extremely gradual turn, you're able to avoid landing in the ocean and decide, you know what, I'll land this properly, well, somewhat properly, I'll land in a random field in Texas. As you can see, we're already heading back towards land. And from here on out, it's a fairly standard uh, gliding uh, landing. And I probably should comment that, yeah, this is the X-15B, X-15B, and so it's a altered version. And whilst the original concept would have had it be actually a stripped down version, I decide since we have the payload capacity on the Saturn 1, I'd add some additional mod propellant. I'd use a vacuum rated engine, as you can see on the back there, with that a spherical mod propellant tank, and of course that a larger nozzle. And so already we're close to landing. This was a fairly short video, but just yeah, I'm returning to Kerbal Space Program. Hopefully, with uh, with some more free time I'll have coming up soon, I have some ideas for a more impressive uh, video. Yeah, stay tuned for that. And uh, now I guess I can talk about uh, our touchdown right now. There we go. You activating the brakes there. And we come to a halt uh, pretty quickly. And we can get our pilot on EVA, which for some reason caused the foliage to change. I totally butchered that, but yeah. Yeah, I want you to thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and goodbye.